much thought and a rather disappointing turn of events, I felt it necessary to discuss our relationship. First, I must tell you that every time I said I love you, I meant it with all of my heart. And I want to believe that you feel the same way. You cared for me, protected me, and supported me in speaking my mind. You fought for me when I was feeling unsafe and encouraged me to join the fight with that same vigor to empower myself. You told me that I was strong, competent, and had the opportunity to be successful. You bore me into the pursuit of your dreams, and for that, I am truly grateful. But I can no longer live in the past waiting for you to wake up and envision our future. I cannot be made to feel guilty by holding you accountable for your actions or jealous by asking you where you were last night. See, I don't need you to rub my feet or sing me lullabies to sleep. I just need an honest conversation at the end of the day. I don't need more I love you's or I'm sorry's or I wish I could have been there, but I was out somewhere confidential and it was more important than answering your phone calls. I don't need your lies, your cheating, and your scandal, the way you show me off to your friends, hold my hands in public, and then fall asleep as soon as we get home. I need you to make love to me. I need you to make real love to me. I need you to remember that you loved me. I don't need your here's some cash and I'll be there next time or, or I didn't know that was what you wanted. See, I'm screaming out my love. I'm hanging from the rafters yelling your name, yelling your way that this relationship is broken and I need your help to fix it. I'm grabbing a megaphone, sending you a telegraph, writing you an email, blowing up your cell phone and stalking you on Facebook. Where are you, America? <laughs> America. Baby. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you when my car's not working and we're all out of gas? Your children are sick and the doctor declined our credit card. I can't afford the rent. I'm having trouble in school. The neighbors won't talk to us. Our sons are fighting in the streets, and I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm losing hope. And all I want is a nice, cool glass of milk for under $4 as I tuck myself in at night. We're having trouble at home, baby. We're having trouble at home. We're having trouble at home, and you bring me some woman in a nice dress and a chair to fix my problems? Some MTV pop CD with a bow on it, a magazine, and a scandal in the tabloids. You slip me $20 and tell me to get my nails done. But where were you last night? Or last month? Or last year? Where were you when I was crying, feeling hopeless, and I just need a little help with my homework? Oh, I forgot to tell you. You told me that to be successful, I needed to go to college. So, I took out the loans, began classes, and, well, I fell a bit behind. I fell a bit behind, and I need help with my homework. Like, what's going on in North Korea, Afghanistan, and Pakistan? What's going on in Iran, Iraq, and Russia? What's going on in Brooklyn, the Bronx, and New Orleans? What's going on in D.C.? Wall Street and the airports, do you know the answers? Do you know these answers? Because I need an A on my homework. Leave your white castle and help me with our homework. Step away from the White House and please do your homework. I need to leave the TV and do my fucking homework. I never cared about how old you were, the color of your skin, or the God you prayed to. I never judged you by your beauty, the clothes you wore, or how much money you had in the bank. See, I'll work for you. I'll open your door, walk you to the table, pull out your chair, cut your chicken, and split the check. Yes, America? I said I'll split the check. I'll riot in the streets, decorate my room with your pictures, and say your name with pride. I'll bring you flowers on your birthday, run the errands, do the dishes, and make you a hot cup of coffee, because I'm here for you. Do you hear me? I'm still here for you, and I want this to work. But America, baby, going to church on Sundays just ain't going to fix this. I said going to church on Sundays ain't going to fix this. Just going to church every Sunday isn't enough to fix all this. 
So I'm writing you a letter with a quill and blue ink, placing it in a red envelope, spraying it with perfume, and sealing it with a kiss. I'm writing you this letter because I want a lover back. I'm writing you this letter because I need my lover back. I'm writing you this letter, dropping it in the mailbox and crossing my fingers that it gets to you on time. America, 